Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. Smoke rising from Gulf State Park is always a concern for folks on Pleasure Island. The park will be on fire tomorrow if weather conditions hold. It's a controlled burn to keep future flames from getting out of control. News 5's Debbie Williams has that story on the Baldwin County Beat. Fire has not been a friend to Gulf State Park in the past. A wildfire in 2011 scorched almost a thousand acres. See that tree line, right? Basically, that's it. The park is about to be torched again. All the way to the timber line, line all the way around it. It's 250 acre block. But this time, the fire will be set on purpose. It seems like it's going to be a low burn, so we might not see as much smoke as, as you would when we had a lot of trees and a lot of underbrush. This is just to keep the area down, uh, down that's already starting to grow. That section is just east of Powerline Road, and while not a lot of people visit the area, the park's trail system runs right through it. It's all the backcountry trails. If you're coming from Orange Beach, we have Rattlesnake Ridge, anything coming from the Sportsplex. Um, the main trail that comes off of Park Road 2 is called the Gulf Oak Ridge, and that one will be closed. Fire can be a good thing. They need fire. All the plant life here is really in a fire cycle. So by, by burning, burning away the vegetation that's there, the new succulent vegetation will come in and enhance for wildlife. What may be a tinderbox now will be reduced to ashes for a little while and then rejuvenated in a matter of weeks. On the Baldwin County Beat in Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, News 5. Now, there's a possibility the controlled burn will be canceled. A final decision will be made first thing tomorrow morning.